Hello! It's time for the third and final instalment of my holiday reading thing! Yeah! And this time I was in Esperanza, which is in the south of France, um, kind of amongst the Pyrenees and stuff. This episode comes to you from the kitchen um, because I've been making cake and stuff. Well, I've made the cake. It's a bit interesting. I'm going to compensate for the state of the cake by chopping it with meringues. And they're in the oven and they take like an hour. So instead of washing up while I'm waiting, I'm going to make videos. This is yummy. It's basically like egg whites and sugar and lemon juice, I think. So the first book that I finished while I was in Esperanza was another Sherlock Holmes. Um, it was The Hound of the Baskervilles and The Valley of Fear. Like um, Study in Scarlet and The Sign of the Four, these are longer stories. Again, I really enjoyed them. Um, they're iconic. The Hound of the Baskervilles is, a, um, is one of the ones that's been made into a TV um, thing. And yeah, they're just really good. Um, definitely worth the read. Very exciting. And I love Sherlock Holmes so much. Mm. The next book I read in about three hours, and it was The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I was waiting for my sisters to come up to bed because um, we were sharing a room and I didn't want to get woken up. I started reading it and I just couldn't put it down. In the end, I made her stay up extra late so I could finish it. Um, it's a really well written book. I've heard people saying that they didn't find they could relate very well to the character and although there were times when I didn't feel that I could personally relate to the character I know people who like say things to me that the character was talking about so I felt like I could at least relate to the sort of friend who he was writing to and the friends that he was talking to even if I couldn't relate to him himself um, but yeah I thought it was a really good book well written and I wish I'd read it a few years earlier because I think it could have helped me through a lot um, but still, better late than never. The next book I read um, was a collection of short stories by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. I got it because I wanted to read The Yellow Wallpaper because I'd heard it mentioned in a lot of books um, and I just wanted to know what they were talking about. But actually, I found that I really enjoyed the other stories as well. In fact, I think I liked them more than The Yellow Wallpaper. So I'm really glad that this came with more stories in it. I mean, I probably wouldn't have bought a book just for the one short story because they're not very long. But um, the other stories were really great. They're all quite interesting, um, quite thought-provoking, and um, they're mostly feminist. Um, and I really enjoyed them. They're great stories, definitely worth a read. And this is a good volume because it, it has um, seven different stories in them and they're all good. The next book I read, if you can use the word read, um, is Silex and the City, which, despite the title, is in French, because the extent of my French reading ability is books I've already read and books with lots of pictures. And this counts as a book with lots of pictures. Um, it was actually really funny. Um, I got it because I was visiting um, some caves, and it was one of the things in the, um, in the gift shop, and the cover looked funny. Um, and then I read it and it was quite amusing. So um, if you've got a bit of a grasp on French, you don't need to know much, I don't know much. Um, this is definitely worth a read and I'll look out for the other books in the series. The final book that I finished on the plane home actually um, was the case book of Sherlock Holmes and his last bow. Um, it's a bit sad to have sort of come to the end of this journey, but I really enjoyed this book as well as all the others. I found I felt that there was sort of more stories in this one that were a bit different, like, I don't know how to explain it without giving too much away, but they, um, there was more variety than there were some um, told from Sherlock's point of view, for example. Um, so I thought it was quite interesting, and um, the ending I found was really powerful, a lot more powerful than I ever imagined it to be. So. Definitely, I mean, don't don't start with this one. Not not a good place to start, but definitely worth a read. I definitely enjoyed this. So if you're only here for the books, now is your time to leave and get back to your reading. 
Esperance itself is quite a small place. The train station only has trains twice a day, I think. Um, and it has two museums, a hat museum and a dinosaur museum. Um, they were both excellent museums, actually, really interesting, very different from each other. Um, and I enjoyed them both because I like dinosaurs and hats. My only disappointment was that there weren't any dinosaurs wearing hats. We visited other places in the area. My dad had rented a car because there was no way we could have got around much by public transport. There were a lot of castles. We saw lots while we were driving around, just ruined castles on the precipices of hills, which have all sort of metaphorical implications. Um, and we visited two. One we went to for a fancy meal for my sister's birthday, uh, and it was really great. I did not know that there were so many inventive ways of serving melon. The other castle we visited was Weaver Castle, and I found that especially interesting because it has statues of people playing different musical instruments, which were really cool, and in a nearby museum they had made replicas of these instruments based on the statues, which I found really interesting. Um, there were other things as well as statues, there was a chapel and stuff, and it was all interesting old castle stuff, but that was the main thing that I found interesting there. And we also visited some other um, museums and things in the area. We visited some reproductions of cave paintings which were really cool and included the only cave painting of a weasel. And I also went to a museum of automatons which was so cool. They were really beautiful and um, kind of scary but also amazing and I thought, I thought they were very cool. So now I'm back in the country and looking forward to results day tomorrow. Um, for those of you who don't know, tomorrow is the day when all the A-level results come in and hopefully people find out what universities they're going to. So if it's your results day tomorrow, let me know how you get on. I hope that you get the results that you need and get into the university you want to go to. Um, but if not, I'm sure that you'll find something else to do because there are so many options out there. Um, but you never know what life's going to throw at you, but I hope you'll do really well. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Happy reading!